I'd received some questions about making wings in a Libre Atom. So let's go through that now. This is specifically, I think, for model airplanes or RC planes. Uh, so on the XY plane, let's create a sketch. And of course, the first thing we'd want to do is sketch out a cross section of our airfoil or wing. So I'll make an arc here. I'll use the tangent arc. And I imagine if you're in the hobby or designing your own plane, you probably have a good understanding of the kind of wing that you want. I'll make a placeholder here. In fact, I'll make one more arc right there. I'll say that these endpoints will be horizontal. We'll give this a dimension. We'll give this a tangent. Give this a radius. So perhaps you'd want to deal with the cross section something like this for your wing. Again, it's uh, highly changeable, so you can make the wing that you would like. But let's say that we want to go with this profile. I'll make an extrusion here, and I'll go with something like 15, and there's your wing. However, I think you're probably after something a little bit more complex than that. So let's make a more complex version of the wing if something like this is not satisfactory. I'm going to delete my extrusions from the tree. Let's create another plane that will mark somewhat the effective length of the wing that we would wish to have. Maybe we'll want to make it 10 or 15 inches long, whatever seems good. And let's sketch out something that might look like what we want our wing to look like near the end. We'll grab a tangent arc. Perhaps you'd like this to be something like 2.5. And I need to add some tangents here. Tangent here. There we go. And another tangent there. I'll add a horizontal. And then I'll add a radius here. And here. Maybe we'll make that a bit larger. Just like that. Radius here. And just like that, we're fully constrained. So we'll deactivate the sketch. So one thing I can do is loft from here to here. And there we have a bit more of a dynamic plane wing but perhaps you wish to have something more complex. So let's go through that. We'll delete our loft. I'll grab my flat plane now, my top plane, and we can import some references. First, I'll import this arc, this arc, this arc down here, and this arc. We'll make sure that these are reference figures so that they're just there to help us reference the geometry and we'll maintain the association so they don't move around on us. From here, I can reset my view and I'll go with a spline. It'll make our front pretty simple. And I can grab some of the control points to add some curvature for I'd like to have some movement in the wing. And then in the back, I'm selecting, of course, the point that lies on the very outer edge of our arc. And maybe the back we can give even more curvature. And just like that. 
I can deactivate the sketch. And now we can use these splines that we've made as guides. So I can say loft. We'll select one profile. We'll select the next. And I'll say that these are local guides. And now we have a wing with some more curvature that's quite custom. But perhaps we'd like to have something a little bit more complex or detailed. Well, we can always feel free to start changing the curvature of our wing even more. And that looks like a pretty insane wing, but you certainly can make curvature like this in a Libre. But perhaps we want even more details. Maybe we'd want to have a gull wing type of shape. So let's delete. I'm gonna change my guide curves to be a little bit more normal. And I'll create another plane. We'll create a plane from up here. And I'll say a distance of how about three inches and apply that. Create an arc. And perhaps we'll project some of these arcs with maintained association as references, of course. And now I can choose an equal relation to make sure that whatever I make that, these arcs will be equal and equal over here as well. Well, we'll get rid of that automatic equal constraint. And now we can make this equal. Just like that. Tangent arc from there to there. We're going to say tangent. And tangent. If we'd wish to even start to duplicate the uh, original sketch that we've made, but shift it a little bit downward. So also grab a vertical from here to there. I can project these two with maintained association. <coughs> and I can go with tangent to make sure that we're tangent. We have tangents over here, so we're good there. From there to there, let's say we want to go down 0.25. Also, and just to make sure that we're equal, right there. We can do the same. We can eat, well, it'd be better to add a horizontal from this point to this point. So our degrees of freedom are probably just going to be these arcs. We're going to say equal from here to here and, and from here to here. All right. Now we have the ability to loft from here to here to here. And there we have sort of a curved goal wing pattern. So we'll say okay to that but maybe we'll want some more customizability. If I select local, you'll notice that we get the salmon button. And that's because these guide curves no longer intersect our lofting cross section. That's okay because we can customize it on other grounds. What we'll do <coughs> is we'll specify tangents and we could even do so at each of our profiles here and we can up our tangent values. And really what we're saying is we want to make sure that we're not coming angularly, right? If I say ruled and I set my view to the front of the wing, we're coming at an angle out of the sketch. 
If I specify a tangent, that means I'm coming straight out of the sketch, normal to it. So I'll uncheck Rule. There you can see we're coming straight out of the sketch, and as I change these magnitude values, I can change the values at which it comes normally out of the sketch. So I'll give the center sketch a magnitude of 5. And there you can see we changed the curvature of the wing. This one... I can probably put a very high value on. And so you can see we're coming normal out of the sketch, and we're coming normal out of this sketch, and so we can influence the curvature here. I also can jump back to my loft and give this something like 5. You can see we still change the curvature of the wing. We may uh, be concerned about how to cap these off, right? What kind of wing tips do we want to have? And one simple solution is to grab our fillet and give it a value that we'd be able to just sort of smooth out the rough corners of the wing. But perhaps we want something more complex than just having the smooth end of our wing, right? Well, we can delete this. And a Libre also can loft to a point, which may be a great help here. I'll make a plane, and I'll offset this about 1.5. Uh, I'll go down to 1. Even 0.75. Ultimately, it's up to you. So maybe we'll make a plane that will mark the center of our end profile here. So make a plane and we'll add offset distance until we hit around the center. Right about there. So I have some intersecting planes here. This plane and this plane intersect in it. When I intersect them, I get an axis, right? So I can choose axis and create an axis down that intersection right here. I can put a point where I would like it. So here's the plane that I've created. We'll create a point and we'll have the point lie on this plane and on the axis that we've just created. Now we can use a loft to point. It's possible to grab a face and loft off of a face straight into a point. Now that looks a little bit complicated or not very good for a plain wing, right? Those will be pretty turbulent edges. We can do a few things like, uh, let's try a perpendicular face takeoff. You can see that's not bad. Uh, but I think that uh, despite some of these options and some of the fine-tuning that we can do on this, I think it's more advisable to activate a sketch on our wing, highlight our face, and simply project that face as a sketch with, main with maintenance, of course. And then when I loft it off of a sketch, I get a really great uh, set of options here. So we'll select our face, loft down to our point. There's our sketch. And just as before, I can specify something being normal. And I accidentally clicked a face there, so we'll clear that face. All right, so with our sketch five, we'll choose a tangent magnitude. Of course, we can up this magnitude a little bit. Maybe one's a bit much, 0.5. Great. Now we are coming to a sharp point there. If that's not desirable, we can up our magnitude a bit over here too. There, we've got a pretty smooth transition overall with our wing. We can always play with our twist minimization and some of these options down here if we would like to further refine our plane wing. 
But for now, that seems like a pretty smooth wing. So these are some options that you can have when making a plane wing. Hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.